Tisha Kazim Oyeneyan has lived in this home in North Raleigh for the past five years. It's not the first time his home security system has been tripped by mistake. Typically, he say if police show up, you show your ID, you prove you're the homeowner. There may be a fine to pay, but it's over. That is not what happened last Saturday. Kazim says he was humiliated inside of his home by police and suspects it was because of the color of his skin. Turn around and face away from me. What? Turn around and face away from me. What? Turn Watching the surveillance tape from inside Kazim's home in North Raleigh, there's Kazim in his boxer shorts in the foyer of his home, staring down the barrel of a Raleigh police officer's gun. This was one of the most humiliating experiences of my life. Let's start at the top of the tape, 12.30 p.m. You're inside, make yourself known. The officer arrives to Kazim's unlocked front door. Residential 4-4. Born around. He's responding to a 4-4, a burglar alarm in progress. Kazim says a friend stayed over that night and tripped the alarm unknowingly when he left. Kazim says he disengaged it and went back to sleep. Just lay back down and all I heard was somebody screaming downstairs. So I grabbed my firearm because I don't know what's going on and I run down the steps and it's a cop. Come on. Kazim immediately dropped his gun. He does have a concealed carry permit. The 31-year-old makes his living as a well-known party and hip-hop concert promoter known in the industry as Tim Boss. But on Saturday, Kazim says the officer refused to believe he lived there. Come on out here. Just come on out for me. What you mean, come on Just out? come on out of the house, please. I got all my drawers. Come on out of the house, okay? Turn around. Turn around. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back and get down on your knees. Tell me for what? We got a 4 4 alarm here. I got open door. I'm trying to make sure. I just talked to the alarm people. Well, I'm confused why he's still talking. You just asked me, do I got ID? I told you, yeah, let's identify me. Let's get me out of here. I was like, I need a supervisor. I definitely need a supervisor here because this ain't right. What have I done wrong? Oh, come on, let's get I haven't done nothing wrong. In handcuffs, wearing just his underwear, Kazim was escorted outside to a waiting police car while officers searched his home. It's a lot of stories like this that go untold. Raleigh community advocate Kerwin Pittman. There's no reason this man should have been pulled out of his own home, um, not asked for proper identification, um, and it has went, it progressed this far. Being black could definitely be one of the issues that's the problem. I hope it's not, but if that's what it is, it just needs to be resolved. Okay, so we reached out to Raleigh Police about this one. The department responded with a statement. We'll just read part of it. Uh, the Raleigh Police Department is looking into this incident and reviewing our officers' actions. We have attempted to contact the homeowner several times over the past few days to discuss this incident with him. Kazim says he just wants an apology. Pittman's calling for disciplinary action against the officer involved. Tisha.